En quoi tu Please be Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. En. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today we will hear the statement of Sovereign's hand by four civil parties. de quatre parties civiles concernant leurs souffrances et leurs préjudices. Mr. Dutchpari, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? Je prie le greffier de faire rapport sur la présence des parties et autres personnes à l'audience. Dutchpari, Mr. President, for greffier, today's proceeding, all parties to discuss and present. Toutes les parties sont présentes, except the national lead co lawyer for le civil parties principal cambodgien pour les parties civiles who is absent without given any reason lequel est absent sans aucune raison n'ait été donné in the holding cell Nunchia downstairs se trouve dans la cellule de temporaire de du sous-sol in relation to his health compte tenu de son état de santé et conformément à la décision de la chambre to testify today are les parties civiles qui déposeront aujourd'hui sont comme prévu TCCP 100, TCCP 149, TCCP 149, TCCP 170, TCCP 170, et le premier est TCCP 117. The four civil parties are waiting to be called by the chamber. Thank you. President, thank you. Court officer, could you invite the civil party TCCP 100 into the courtroom? Veuillez faire entrer dans le prétoire la partie civile TCCP 100. President, good morning, Mr. Civil Party. What is your name? Comment vous appelez-vous? La partie civile. Excusez-moi, Monsieur le Président. Je m'appelle Nuhon. Le Président. Merci, Monsieur Nuhon. Thank you. Question. When were you born and where is your place of birth? Où et quand êtes-vous né? Answer. I was born in Stratko village, Je suis né dans le village de Stratko, Stratko district, l'une de Kampong Frum, province. province de Préveil. And I am indeed 79 years old by birth, but 79 I changed ans. my age and in my card Mais I am 74 years old. D'après ma carte d'identité, j'ai 74 ans. Question. Question. Where do you currently live? Où résidez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I live in the Texas, in Houston, in the United States à of America. Houston, Texas, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. 
Thank you. And what is your father's name? Merci. And your mother's name? Comment s'appellent vos parents? And so my father's Réponse. name is Nu Chan and Mon my mother's Nu-chan name is Anne Pliu. Et ma mère Anne Pliu. Question. Question. Are you married? Êtes-vous marié? Mr. Svoparty, please Monsieur, observe a small pause until you see the red light on the microphone so that your voice will go through the distribution system. S'allume. For all parties. Votre voix pourra-t-elle être enregistrée? And for the public, and in particular, it will go through the interpretation system so that your Vos voice will be interpreted simultaneously into English and French. So please observe a slight pause before you respond. Veuillez donc attendre quelques instants avant de répondre. Question. Are you married? And Êtes-vous if so, marié? how many children do you have? Et si oui, combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. My wife died in 1998 and I have Réponse. three children. J'ai Thank you, Mr. Nuhon. As a civil party before this court, the trial chamber will give you an opportunity Question. to express your statement of suffering and harm civile, inflicted upon you materially, physically, and psychologically, and which are the direct result of the crimes occurred en conséquence directe des crimes and which led you to become a civil party in this case. Vous constituer partie civile dans ce Those crimes have been charged against the two accused, namely Nunchi and Kyusampon, and which occurred during the Democratic Cambodia regime from the 17th April 1975 to the 6th January 1979. And you may proceed with your statement. La parole est à vous. Please pause, Mr. Civil Party. The National Lead Co Lawyer for Civil Parties, instant. you may proceed. La parole est au co-avocat principal Pick cambodgien on. pour les Mr. Parties Mr. Civiles. For the Civil Party, no hon. Lawyer Sam Sopkun will be assigned to for the Sam questions Sopkun to him sera chargé d'interroger and for the other civil parties, pour les autres parties civiles, namely TCCP 149, TCCP 149 will be questioned by Chiat Wan Lee. As for TCCP 170, the civil party will be questioned by Chiat Wan Lee as well. And lastly, for TCP 117, the civil party will be questioned by T. Srinar. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. President, thank you. Le président. Mr. Nuhon, you Merci. may now proceed with your Monsieur statement. Nuhon, la parole est à vous. Mr. Nuhon, thank you, Mr. President. My name is Sam Sukkung, representing the la partie civile. Merci, Monsieur civil le party Nuhon. Maître Sam Sukkung. Bonjour, je m'appelle Sam Sukun, je Lima suis Wien l'avocat de la partie civile counterpart. Nu Hon. Et avant que je pose des questions à M. Nu Hon, je voudrais présenter quelques informations dérivées de la forme de victime. M. Nu Hon a été reconnu pour son application en cas de 002 comme victime de force d'évacuation. 
dans le dossier 002, cette personne a été reconnue comme victime des évacuations forcées dans le document des 22 bar 1962 ou plutôt 1962, à savoir sa constitution de parti civil. And that application has been handed through the civil party already. Donc and the information in civile. that information form, On does it reflect your true experience? Est-ce que les informations de votre Did formulaire de renseignement sur la victime sont fidèles et conforme à votre expérience? Réponse. Oui, ces Thank informations you. sont exactes et fidèles. Mr. President, Mr. Nuhon is living with his family in the United Monsieur States Nuhon and I would like to express my thanks for his uh, traveling from abroad to Je me testify here today. And I have some questions for you. When you were evacuated from Phnom Penh, Quand vous avez été évacué de Phnom Penh, interrupts. interruption du président. Council for Civil Maître. Party, please uh, specify for which civil party that the assigned lawyer will question first before that civil party makes his or her statement, or which civil party would make the statement first before you put the question to Quels seront les parties civiles qui vont faire As la déclaration avant l'interrogatoire et civil party pour quelle partie civile allez-vous procéder inversement La Chambre avait donné la parole à la partie civile pour qu'elle fasse la déclaration. Or, à présent, voilà que l'avocat uh, commence son interrogatoire. And secondly, Deuxièmement, Mr. Civil Party, could you please uh, clearly pronounce Monsieur your name? Civil. Is it Horn or Hun? Vous appelez-vous Horn ou Hun? Civil Party. La partie civile. My name is Hun. Je m'appelle Hun. Hun. Nu Hun. President. Le because président. to me, from the pronunciation by your counsel, he, le is, nom a he votre pronounced maître, Horn, not il a Hun. Dit que vous appeliez it Horn seems that he doesn't know you clearly. Hun. Apparemment, il ne connaît pas bien votre nom. Big Ang, uh, Mr. Uh, president, Ang. for this civil party, Nu Hon. En ce qui concerne la partie civile, the Nu Hon. The assigned counsel, Sokung, will put the Maître question Sokung to him first. For the second and third civil parties, they would make their statements first and will be questioned uh, by the assigned counsel. And for the last uh, civil party today, that is TCCP 117, the civil party will be put the questions first before he or she makes the statement of suffering. President, thank you. Le président. Merci. And uh, Litko lawyers, you are reminded that you should have informed the chamber first of the process of the question first and statement later. Otherwise, it seems that you are now leading this proceeding and not the chamber. On a l'impression que ce sont les avocats principaux qui font la loi et non pas la chambre. Sam Sokun. Maître Sam Sokun. Mr. Nuhun, I have some uh, questions for you. Monsieur Nuhun, can you describe to the court what you encountered during the evacuation from Phnom Penh? Pourriez-vous décrire l'évacuation de Phnom Penh telle que vous l'avez vécu? Answer. La partie civile. Evacuation from Phnom Penh was a new experience that I never encountered before. A été quelque chose de complètement there was a huge crowd of people moi. en route, La and it was in the middle of the sur les routes. dry season, and the weather was sèche. very hot. Il faisait extrêmement chaud. 
People were shocked. They did not bring much belongings with them. Some of them did not have any thongs or shoes. So they resorted to using banana stalk for their feet. Some of them lost their children and families and the situation was chaotic. We did not know where we would go and obtain some food. And there were flies. Flies were everywhere like a crowd of bees. Des mouches partout. That was the time that there was no public hygienic toilets. Il n'y avait pas so de we had to resort public. to going through the forest to relieve ourselves. And we saw western were everywhere. Some people died and left along the street. And those who were sick could not seek any help sont from anyone and we were forced by Anka to aide. just keep going. So some of us avancer. would have to leave their sick family Certains members behind. Eux, des de leur qui My family also went along National Road Ma number one la route toward the Preveng province and de the Swayreng province. And some of us cross into nous Vietnam. Sont au Vietnam. The main challenge was the lack of food La and the lack of uh, medical treatment. De we et de did not know médicaux. where to go for food or medicine, and the money we had was no longer Notre use. And the rice was very expensive le and it was measured in a milk can. On le mesurait en canette de riz. Everybody faced the same situation during our forced evacuation from Phnom Penh. Tout le monde a connu la même situation au cours de cette évacuation forcée de Phnom Penh. Question. Also in relation to your, the evacuation. Toujours concernant l'évacuation. Did you lose any family members? Avez-vous perdu des membres de votre famille? Answer. It was Réponse. unfortunate for me as uh, one of my daughters went missing. L'une de mes filles a disparu. My younger in law who did not have a daughter. As for my younger daughter to stay with them. So during my evacuation, ma I went my way and my younger in-law went a separate way. And for that reason, lui, she went with my ma younger in-law's family. Avec, uh, ma belle famille. My younger in-law actually had four children. So together with famille, my younger daughter, and one elder mother, there were eight of them all together. I made a, a distant relative in 1979, and I was told that during the evacuation they went to Kampong Spoo. I received information about my daughter, that is after the liberation in 1979, and at that time, we conducted a religious Buddhist ceremony to pray for those who went missing. Pour prier we pour les held it uh, near the Odessai market, and we kept looking one another for the missing family members. Et nous avons and there was an aunt de les who told me about the story of Une my younger in-law and she was in the same famille, cooperative and she said that one day one of the children was sick un jour, un enfant était malade. and that child was given a rapid Et drop pellet. Lui a donné un médicament appelé de lapin. 
and they have a militia who were standing nearby and for some reason at night the entire family was taken away and executed but the lady did not know where they were killed. That was the information that we learned from that woman that the entire family was smashed that night because of the word that they said about the rabbit drop pilot. Parce qu'ils avaient dit quelque chose sur ces crottins de lapin. Thank you. L'avocat. Mr. President, Merci. with your permission, I'd like to show the photos avec votre autorisation, which have already been submitted to, to your honor regarding his uh, daughter. Sont des the EN is 0540951 in Khmer language. De la fille de la partie civile. Le RN en Khmer, c'est 0054-0951. Le président, je vous en prie, allez-y. This photo, can you tell the chamber which one is your daughter? Sur cette photo, qui est votre fille? Answer. This is the photo of my daughter who went missing in 1975. She was wearing a flower shirt. Elle portait une chemise Question. À fleurs. When she was separated from you Question. during the evacuation Quand from Phnom Penh, de vous how old de was she? Penh, quel âge avait -elle? Mr. President, please observe a small pause of the party. Monsieur la partie civile, veuillez attendre Answer. un instant avant de répondre. She la was civile, around 9 or 10 years old at the time. Elle avait 9 ou 10 ans à l'époque. L'avocat. Question. When your daughter was separated from Quand you, votre fille a été séparée de vous, what happened to her? Que lui est -il or to your younger brother-in-law and his family? Et qu'est-il arrivé à votre jeune beau-frère et à sa famille? Answer. As a human being, réponse with a conscience. No one, no father or mother or aucun grandfather humain, or grandmother mère, who doesn't love his or her child. And when the child got sick, of course we would be anxious Et to find a doctor for her treatment. Malade, and the situation was indescribable when my daughter was taken at night and smashed. I'm still thinking of why she was killed and how she was killed amongst with her nephews and cousins. My mind is still unable to answer this question. Why she was killed and how she was killed amongst with her nephews and cousins. My mind is still unable to answer this question. Why she was killed and how she was killed amongst with her nephews and cousins. My mind is still unable to answer this question. Why she was killed and how she was killed amongst with her nephews and cousins. My mind is still unable to answer this question. Why she was killed and how she was my wife, when she was leaving, went to seek help de from a fortune teller, just in case that one day we would be able to meet her. Une but she disappeared forever. En espérant when we separated, she was around nine or ten years old. Ans, so if she's still alive, she would know vue, where to return. But si I am sure that the entire vie, family at the time, that is the family of my younger brother-in-law, que was killed. toute la no famille de mon survived. jeune beau-frère a été And as a tué. Father, this Je suis sûr qu'il n'y a pas eu de rescapé. En tant que père, 
if my child gets sick, of course, I would try to seek the best si doctor for the treatment. Mon enfant tombe malade, je veux avoir le meilleur médecin pour la soigner. And she went missing without food or elle, medical treatment. Elle a disparu, and she was elle n'avait pas mangé, pas de médicaments, et elle a été emmenée exécutée pendant la nuit. Question. What was your Question. feeling when you were separated from your children or family members and didn't know what happens to them? Des autres membres de votre famille. Answer. Et quand vous êtes resté sans nouvelles de. It was the feeling of réponse. sadness, sorrow and regret. De la tristesse, du chagrin, and we tried des to find all sort of means. In order to reconcile my 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 feeling, j'ai essayé the image and the feeling of my child or my relatives dying still plays vividly in front of my eyes every time I recall it. Continue de m'habiter. We were told that the revolution means to rescue the country and on to rebuild the country. Que la révolution visait à sauver et reconstruire le pays. But it did not happen that way. Mais les choses ne se sont pas passées ainsi. Question. Question. When you knew about the disappearance or the death Quand of your daughter and the death of your younger brother-in-law and his family, how did you feel when you first famille, received the news? Qu'avez-vous ressenti en apprenant cette nouvelle? Answer. Réponse. As I just uh, said, Comme je viens de le dire, the feeling was unsettling. C'était un sentiment bouleversant. I have my younger brother whose entire family was also lost. J'ai aussi un frère cadet qui a perdu toute sa famille. They worked in the treasure department in Swire. C'était des gens qui travaillaient and au my département du trésor à Swire. And children went to return to their native village and in 1978 they were evacuated to the west en 78, ils and ont the été entire family later on disappeared and I received no news at all a disparu. Je that is reçu aucune nouvelle. The, the, the mother, the five children donc and mère, in fact the, the father died in a Swyrian province immediately after the liberation. So this is an additional burden on top of the news voilà about my younger brother-in-law. And that is in addition to the loss of our property and our house mm. in Kampung Sang and Presnak district that have us dismantled completely by Ankara. Qui a and été it was the area that the Khmerus force came to control Les earlier, as it was uh, near the Nhe Luong area. Était venu contrôler cette zone so the families from Nhe there Luang. had to evacuate uh, from donc, their native villages to live nearby Nhe Luong or to went further to take refuge in Nhe Luong or to go to refuge in Phnom Penh. So that house was completely dismantled and another house was démantelée. burnt to ashes near Chiba Ampeu Market. It was a wooden house with a zinc roof and it was hit by a shelling and it was burnt to the ground and all the main documents were burnt, including my Brûlé, birth certificate and the birth certificate of my children, the medical enfants, records and other important documents. Et uh, Even at the moment, important. I cannot recall for sure the dates of birth of my children because I do not have any birth certificates to refer to. Mes parce que je plus de and the precious photos of my family members were all gone. 
des membres de ma famille qui m'étaient très précieux, elles ont tout disparu. Vous pouvez imaginer à quel point j'étais bouleversé par ces événements. Council, thank you. Question. Now, today, can you um, express your uh, feeling when you come to uh, testify before the court? Vous dire comment vous vous sentez aujourd'hui à venir déposer mm -hmm. votre arbitre? Response. Réponse. Mr. President, your honors and council, Madame, Monsieur les juges, today I am trying to concentrate to respond to the questions, as well as to testify uh, the court, testify to the court concerning the suffering we have uh, sustained. And I uh, think uh, that I uh, am very fortunate to have an opportunity to speak in front of the uh, chamber. And I uh, thank, I am grateful to the chamber for granting me the opportunity to uh, address the chamber on the issue concerning my personal suffering. Long question. Concerning a reparation, um, do you intend to request to the chamber to award any reparation uh, to you in your capacity as the victim of the um, uh, alleged crimes? Response. I have thought uh, of it thus far that if Cambodia or the United Nations or international community think of awarding any reparation uh, to Cambodia or uh, to the victims, I also understand uh, that there are so many victims, virtually every uh, Cambodian family was uh, the victim of the uh, regime. I could not imagine uh, any uh, financial reparation uh, for uh, the victims. And I believe that even if the financial reparation is awarded, it will not be able to offset the suffering we uh, have uh, sustained. I only hope that I have an opportunity to uh, speak to the chamber as well as to the Cambodian people in general about my suffering. And I only hope that uh, we will be able to find justice uh, through this chamber. And everyone has been waiting for justice for a long time. And they hope that this victim will be handed down to the victims uh, so that the soul of the victims, those who passed away, those who died during the period, as well as the family members of those who died uh, would feel appeased with um, uh, the justice. And I hope that this will be uh, the uh, way to heal uh, the uh, suffering of uh, the victims. Council, I do not have any uh, further question for you, uh, but I would like to ask whether or not you have any additional information you wish uh, to um, entertain the court or to enlighten the court. You may, you may do so. Response. I have always been concerned uh, of the uh, time that the court uh, will spend on adjudicating the case, and I would like to actually take this opportunity uh, to ask uh, the uh, question to the court um, uh, I have only a few questions uh, to put to them directly and with the leave from the chamber I would like to now pose uh, the question to the court The president. You may proceed. You 
the the, uh, you are entitled to put the question uh, to the co-accused. However, the question must be put through the president of the chamber. And I, in the capacity as the president of the chambers, would uh, refer the question uh, to the uh, co-accused to respond to that question. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President and your honors. My first question to the co-accused. I have followed the proceeding at the Khmer Rouge Tribunal, and I have noticed that the Khmer Rouge uh, Tribunal has always refused uh, to respond uh, to questions. And if uh, they answered or responded to the question, they normally said that they uh, knew nothing of what uh, had happened during the period. So I have been wondering to myself that why these leaders uh, responded uh, that they knew nothing. They only Quand said that they tried to defend the national uh, interest. Uh, but uh, did they know that the population of Cambodia at that time decreased uh, year by year? So I would like to ask a direct question to them. Did they know that the population of Cambodia decreased, and where uh, were they? Uh, where were uh, the leaders of the democratic uh, Cambodia? When one leaders of the democratic Cambodia were taken away and executed, there was no replacement uh, of, the, of the, the people who were executed. So I was wondering where the leaders of the democratic Cambodia were Où at that time, and they only said that they wanted to uh, develop Cambodia, Et they wanted to rebuild uh, the country. Why? Uh, where were they when this, all of these atrocities were committed? My second question, they have always Deuxième said question. that they want to salvage les the country. They want to uh, help restore the country, and of course victims so far have uh, already told the court about their suffering déjà, and harms uh, they sustained during the period. For example, their property were exemple, confiscated uh, and destroyed, and uh, uh, belongings such as uh, papers and certificates were uh, uh, taken away, and uh, they also appeal to Cambodian people overseas to return Ils to the country, and then they were eventually killed. So I, I have Cambodge, always wondered uh, how, uh, uh, what, what was the rationale behind their arguments uh, that they wanted to rebuild the country, but instead they executed the intellectuals. How could they develop a country if they executed the intellectuals, if they killed their own people? I don't understand. Uh, the reason behind their decision. So I would like to decisions. put this question to the leaders of the Democratic Cambodia, and I hope that they will uh, avail of this opportunity to uh, respond to my question. And finally, I have one uh, final observation. Uh, uh, the, these, are my, these are my final observations uh, for the Chamber. I thank you very much, Mr. President. The President. Mr. Nu Huan, uh, you should. Um, Try to make your question uh, brief and succinct because you have uh, described your uh, situation and your question uh, seem to be mixed up. So your question should be straightforward and succinct uh, so that the accused uh, can respond to your question appropriately. The two questions uh, you have just asked appears to be Les deux que vous venez de poser. rather confused, and probably uh, the accused so might not be compliqué. able to respond to it appropriately. Civil party. During the course of the hearing, 
thus far, the co-accused have always uh, said uh, that they knew nothing of what had happened during the democratic Cambodia period. They were not responsible for uh, those activities. However, uh, the leaders, some leaders of the uh, democratic Cambodia um, disappear mysteriously, and there were no replacement for them. And if uh, they uh, uh, were executed, uh, did the Khmer Rouge leader knew who committed uh, those crimes, who actually took them uh, for execution when they were uh, holding power at that time? My second question, the co-accused also asserted that uh, they had sacrificed uh, their personal happiness in uh, for, to safeguard the interests of the country, to protect the nation, uh, but they had killed many Cambodian people, including the intellectual as well. So how could they claim that they uh, defend the national interests, they protect the country, so on and so forth, if they killed uh, their own people, uh, including the intellectual? Y compris des intellectuels. The President. Le Thank président. you, Mr. Juan. Merci, Monsieur. Mm. I now Juan. refer this question to the accused, Kiel Sampon, first, followed by Mr. Nguyen Chia. Mr. Kiel Sampon. Can you respond to the two questions posed by Mr. Nguyen Chia? No, Juan vous a posé. If you can, you may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Mr. Q. Sampon. Q. Sampon. Mr. President, Monsieur your Président, honors. Madame, Messieurs les juges. And everyone in the courtroom. And Tous ceux ici Mr. Présents. No Hun, y compris Monsieur no Hun. you lost your beloved daughter. Vous avez perdu votre fille you lost chérie. your brother-in-law, and you lost other family members. Et d'autres membres de votre famille. This is another episode of a tragedy happened to a family. Autre episode tragique and this is another famille. tragedy in addition to the tragedy encountered by other civil parties who have come to testify before this chamber thus far. Tragedy comme celle d'autres parties civiles qui ont déposé devant ce tribunal. I would like to apologize to you that during the democratic Cambodia period, I was not aware of the suffering, the great suffering of Cambodian people as you have been describing. Car once again, my sincere apology to you and to Cambodian people who suffered. And now I would like to respond to your question. For your first question, tout d'abord. You say that the Democratic Cambodia leader denies knowing what was going on during the Democratic Cambodia period. I wish to inform you honestly that I did not know, and the reason why I did not know what was going on then, because I was not the 
effective leaders of the regime. I was a, an intellectual, an intellectual, highly educated intellectual, intellectual très at the time was considered to be somebody of not, très instruit, not a firm stance. They only de wanted us to know ferme. about good things, about progress uh, in the country and about the atrocity or bad thing that had happened in the country, I was not uh, informed of this is my atrocités. honest response to your first question. Voilà donc mon Secondly, votre in response to your second question, I joined the Democratic Cambodia virtually question, by accident. Je dirais que je suis entré dans le camp démocratique par accident. And when I joined them, the reason behind my decision to join them was nothing but to have the country. I wanted le, uh, to mobilize the national forces in order to fight uh, in the war at that time. As you may be well aware, Cambodia at that time was plunged into war, and you must have been aware of the situation of our country at the time. So when I joined the Democratic Cambodia, I did not actually join them to kill Cambodian people or innocent Quand people. Je le pas fait pour, uh, I could not imagine doing that. Je pu une chose and the murderer who killed your daughter, your brother-in-law, or other relatives, qui ont tué votre I fille, votre beau -frère, et strongly condemn them and I want je leurs them to be brought to justice. We had to find them and Il faut les retrouver. bring them to justice. Et I would like to poursuivre. respond to your question as voilà I have réponse. just responded. I thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Mr. The President. Thank you, Mr. Kilsenborn. How about Mr. Nguyen Chia? Would you wish to respond to these two questions? Mr. Nguyen Chia, you may proceed. La parole est à Nguyen Chia. Mr. Nguyen Chia, my respect to the President and your honours, and my respect to the civil party, I do not recall your name, and my respect to the national compatriots who are uh, either participating in the proceeding or observing the proceeding both inside the country and outside the country. First of all, I would like to reiterate once again the role and responsibility I was assigned during the Democratic Cambodia period. I would like to clarify it as follow. During the period of the Democratic Cambodia, I was assigned to be the Deputy Secretary of the Communist Party of Cambodia. And my duty was uh, to, uh, I was in charge of propaganda and education in the party. And I was also in charge of the uh, chairman of the committee for the uh, People's Comme Assembly during the Democratic Cambodia uh, period. As for in the executive branch, I had no power whatsoever. Je ne, je avais aucun. So what had happened during the Khmer Rouge period, uh, something, some, a certain thing I was aware, but other things I was not aware of. I am not non. trying to evade uh, justice, or I am not uh, trying to um, 
evade my responsibility, but I am telling you the truth. And I, of course, uh, was the one of the leaders of this uh, government. I am not rejecting my responsibility. I share uh, the responsibility uh, as the leaders of this regime. But my role, as I told you, that I had no role in the executive branch of the government, in the party I was in charge of education and propaganda for the internal party members. And in the People's Assembly, I was in charge of the chairman of the committee of the People's Assembly. But uh, then uh, I, uh, then the uh, Vietnamese uh, troops uh, came to invade uh, Cambodia before I chair this National Assembly. And once again, uh, I would like to express my uh, deepest condolences uh, to your relatives your daughter, and I also express my condolences to my family members who also lost their life uh, during that period, the President. Thank you, Mr. Nguyen Chien. Mr. Nguyen, if you have any final statement you want to make, uh, you may do so. If you have any final statement you want to make, you may do so. Uh, Mr. Nuhun, uh, my apology, Mr. President, uh, and I would like to take this final moment uh, to address the Chamber that uh, I am grateful uh, to the United Nations and the government of Cambodia for endeavoring to establish uh, the tribunal. I know that the tribunal has encountered uh, challenges and difficulties, uh, but I am very pleased to see the existence and uh, operation of this court, and I am also grateful to the international community, friends of the court who have been supporting uh, this tribunal. I hope that this tribunal will achieve uh, its mandate and, I will, and the court will be able to bring justice to the victims. Uh, and I am one of the victims who are waiting for the justice. And I hope that uh, uh, what I have contributed will be of assistance to the court. And finally, I have a short poem, a short uh, uh, word, a few words uh, to remind uh, Cambodian people, uh, uh, those who have survived the uh, notorious regimes, do you still remember uh, the suffering of, uh, uh, that we all uh, had to go through uh, during uh, that period? And with permission from Mr. President, I will proceed uh, with these uh, words. The President, you may proceed. Personally, I think that the organization, the so-called organization at that time, was a brutal organization. They wanted Cambodian people to live in freedom, uh, in a sovereign state, in territorial with inter territorial integrity. You wanted people to have clothes to wear, shoes to wear, but, and a cap to wear as well. But the fact was that uh, this uh, policy is, is uh, this policy does not apply to everyone. In other words, uh, there is no one side fits all in their policy. They design the cap, uh, one side of the cap, and then they force people to actually wear that, and that does not fit uh, with the people. Now we cannot actually cut our, uh, cut our feet uh, to shoot the shoe, but there should be the other way around. De nous faire en sorte que notre pied entre dans time, la chaussure à taille unique. Ce n'est pas comme ça. C'est l'inverse. The dictatorship, à l'époque, authoritarianism, they force people uh, to follow uh, their policy. 
when people were not happy, they did not enjoy the freedom to express their unsatisfaction of what they have had in life. So it was impossible to make the people to be in line with what they want them to be. And in addition, at that time, the uh, Khmer Rouge, uh, the so-called organization, raised uh, the slogans which was impossible to accomplish, for example, the uh, Great Leap Forward. Also, they want to actually, they want this country uh, to uh, develop in a Great Leap Forward uh, that they cannot step, they cannot take too many steps at a time. And I did not really know how they could achieve this great leap forward vision uh, if they actually did not uh, have anything. Instead, si they killed uh, the people. And I, if I, for example, believe in their vision that it was good, but I believe uh, that it is something that uh, will actually count be, will be counterproductive. It would not uh, lead to the Cet development of the country. According to what they did, it was impossible for the development of the country. So what was uh, the reason uh, for uh, their course of action? Donc pourquoi ont -ils agi de la sorte? What they did was impossible for the development. Now they killed the intellectuals. Intellectuals were the future of the nation. They, nation. they would be uh, the pillar of the nation. And if you kill the intellectuals, what make this country developed? Comment it développer is le pays impossible. Si on tue les In the 1960s, for Mr. Kilsen Paul, I read news and I heard uh, from words of mouth that he was a clean person. He was not a corrupt official. He was intellectual. I saw that he was the one who defended the country. But I did not understand why he was among a rotten apple in a basket. In Cambodia, there, uh, there is a saying that goes, Comment if a rotten apple is among other apples panier, in the basket, then the whole basket of apples is considered rotten. And I feel very sorry for you for having participated with them. Finally, I hope that the court uh, will uh, adjudicate on the case uh, based on the evidence as well as the testimony the of surviving witnesses and civil party uh, so that they will derive uh, a justice for the victims and the justice for the leaders of the Democratic Cambodia as well. I hope that the court will be able to bring justice for all and achieve uh, their mandate. I conclude uh, my statement now, Mr. Voilà President. Thank, thank you, Mr. Merci. President. Thank you, Mr. Nuhun. Now Mr. I Nuhun. hand over the Je floor to la the la prosecutor la uh, to put the question to the civil party. Qui you may proceed. De la partie civile. Bon. Mr. Simon Kiel. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, le President. And good morning, Mr. President, your honors and esteemed colleagues in Madame the courtroom, and, and good morning, Mr. Nu Hon. Bonjour, mes collègues. Bonjour, Monsieur Nu Hon. Mr. Nu Hon, I am uh, re representing the prosecution. I have uh, only a few questions des et je uh, que which I questions would questions like matin. you to enlighten the court based on the experience you have come across. Que now, vous my first question for you uh, concerns uh, the journey uh, you made, which you also told the court earlier, that you left Phnom Penh for Preveng province uh, at the time, which was Le your hometown. When uh, you were leaving Phnom Penh for Preveng province, were you instructed to Phnom head Penh toward that direction, or uh, you just went there at your own Response. Réponse. 
on this particular point, I was uh, my family and I was uh, heading toward the Monsieur eastern Sujet. side of the city. And at that time, I asked the soldiers uh, where I was supposed uh, to head for. Then the soldier uh, responded to me that I had to keep on walking. I, uh, actually, it took me approximately a month or so uh, to reach uh, that destination. And we were actually waiting at that time upon hearing that Mr. Kiu Sampon would uh, be coming to uh, restore the country and would he would uh, reorganize uh, the country. Also, so we were heading uh, toward uh, that direction based on what they asked us to do. And we actually ran out of uh, rice and food stock uh, as well along the ways. And I also lost one daughter as well. And Mr. there were two uh, Mairu, uh, soldiers who were in charge uh, of uh, guarding the uh, trucks uh, who were not allowed to cross the river uh, to the other side uh, by uh, a ferry. Uh, so I, these two Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers, upon seeing the uh, suffering of my family, they prepare food for our family at the time. Allow me to interrupt uh, your procureur. response. It's already vous interrompre. good enough for my question. Allow me to move on to vous another avez question. Déjà répondu à ma question. Je passe à yes, la you stated before this court. Were you escorted by the Khmer Rouge? I mean, you, your family, and those who par walked? Les Rouge, vous, votre famille, et les autres gens qui marchaient? Answer. Réponse. In fact, no. In fact, we non. just move along. Nous avons simplement avancé. The Khmer Rouge has their respective duties, which were beyond our understanding. Les Khmer Rouge avaient d'autres choses à faire. You stated that you saw Khmer Rouge soldiers Question. along Vous the dites avoir vu road des that Khmer you traveled. Is le long true? de la route que vous avez emprunté. Est-ce exact? Answer, yes, it is. Réponse, oui. Question. Question. Also, in the case to your traveling, what did you observe the situation of the travelers? Did you see people died along the road? Qu'avez-vous observé en chemin? Avez-vous vu des gens mourir? Answer. Some people died and some were about to decompose. So I did not know when they died uh, actually. Il y avait des corps en décomposition. The was, uh, confusing along the national road. La confusion régnait. As it was fully crowded. Sur la route. Some people Il y went avait up and down looking for their immense. family members. Certains and uh, some were looking for food des membres de leur for famille. their family. D'autres cherchaient à manger and by the time we arrived pour nourrir leur famille. Lung, the one with the same belongings were not allowed to cross the ferry. À they had to, Luang, ceux qui avaient des bagages to leave pas their vehicles behind and they could only walk onto the ferry with their carry-on belongings. Ces gens ont dû abandonner leurs and véhicules as I said, we did not have any bac, food, so the two Khmer soldiers uh, helped us and gave us some affaires. rice before we crossed the river by ferry to our native Nous village. Question. While on route, Question. was there anyone attempting route, to return to Phnom Penh? And if so, was there a person allowed Penh? to return to Le Phnom Penh? Échéant, est -ce que cela a été autorisé? Answer. Réponse. Since uh, we reached Chiba Ompe, Nirul Pagoda, and uh, Chempa Pagoda, Nous sommes arrivés à there Chaba was a writing et on the blackboard that for those who là, were public servants or police officers or military officers, so register their names. So that Ankara will reorganize our country 
réorganise le pays. L'on disait que ces gens rentreraient à Phnom Penh. Certains d'entre nous sont donc allés s'inscrire. Ils étaient contents de le faire. Could not be true. Mais moi, je me suis dit que ce n'était pas vrai et que seule la mort nous Question. attendait au tournant. Why did you think that by Question. Registering the name Pourquoi pensiez-vous que ceux to Pint, and for yourself, qui why you thought that only death, uh, was awaiting ne retourneraient pas à Phnom Penh, mais mourraient Answer. Réponse. At that time, the law in Cambodia was rather strict regarding les règles certain types of documents, au Cambodge, namely the communist documents. Documents. And I myself uh, had the opportunity to read the some communist uh, doctrines. Documents and based on my experience and on the documents that I read, the situation was not lectures, good at all. J'ai compris que la situation n'était pas bonne du tout. J'ai remarqué que certains soldats Khmer Rouge portaient un uniforme alors que d'autres non. And of course, we observed that uh, for travelers who were spotted as lunar soldiers were Les taken to one side. So to me, that soldats, was an indication of uh, danger sur le côté. in uh, moi, ahead. Un signe And I de told my children to stop calling us à mes by papa or mama, de cesser but de rather nous than papa by the Khmer words father and mother. So from that day on, they à changed themselves jour, and they ils ont changé did leur not manière de call us by Papa ils or Mama. And that we had to adopt ourselves to the situation. Nous autrement que par papa et maman. Question, you said that the people Question. were move aside because they Vous were suspected of being Lonol soldiers and did you know what happened to them? Soldats de Lonol. Savez-vous ce qui leur est arrivé? Answer. Réponse. At that time, there were lots and lots of people à and il y avait beaucoup de monde. those people who were uh, close to us, they went uh, les gens to qui se trouvaient près de nous food, water, allaient chercher à manger et ces gens ont Question. dit que d'autres avaient été emmenés also, pour être tués. C'est ainsi que je l'ai appris. Question. Vous uh, avez aussi dit avoir essayé d'avancer Where Vous avez dit que Kyo Sampan allait rentrer pour organiser At that les choses. Time, my family Quand avez-vous entendu ça À l'époque, ma famille était près de la pagode Champa avec d'autres familles qui allaient en direction de la province de Preyveng. Ces gens connaissaient bien Kyo Sampan. That Ils ont would return to Phnom Penh and that he laquelle, would invite the former civil servants et to return. Les à and the daughter of that uh, family was about to, to give birth, but Une the husband was not uh, with her as the husband was stationed at a Kampong Chnang. Question, I might have uh, my last question, question for you. J'en viens à ma dernière question. When you reached your native village in Preveng province and upon your arrival, dans la province de Preveng, were you organized to be placed in a, a particular group or in a particular cooperative? Est-ce qu'on vous a intégré à un groupe particulier ou à and une uh, coopérative? When we reach our native village, réponse. Une fois arrivé dans notre village natal, the uh, Khmer Rouge came to search our belongings. Nos they all unpacked uh, our Rouge. bags Ils ont so that le sac they could see what we had with us, any medical equipment, for example, si medical equipment or syringes, medical, then uh, would be confiscated. Dans ce cas -là, ces choses but uh, they did not 
take away the medicines Mais ils and I pas only stayed for one week in the native une village dans mon village natal. because upon the liberation the people who ran Après away la from the village returned les gens qui and avaient quitté leur village, ils sont then our names were registered and sent to another village no, which was about three kilometers away regroupés et communiqués à un autre village qui était à 3 km after, de là. And it was une semaine plus tard, around May, vers le mois de mai, people called some names for the study session at the Preasdak office. On a convoqué des gens pour aller étudier Myself au bureau de Preasdak. My uncle, who was an engineer, and his j'avais un oncle qui était ingénieur, who was a soldier, moi-même ainsi que son jeune frère qui était soldat, ainsi qu'encore une autre personne qui était également soldat. They went there, but it. They only stayed there for one night and ils they were taken away. Allés, only I and restés. my uncle, the engineer, nuit, the engineer remained. And when we actually went for the study session, I brought along uh, some uh, medicine and I was told by the villagers that there was no need for me to to bring along this Anka would have everything Anka including the medicines. De tout, y des when we were there, I saw about 300 people place, all together, including those soldiers from Nguyen and Nam Stang Trang, and it was fully packed. And there were uh, a lot of uh, bad lies on the mat. Il y avait the situation was de miserable. We had mat. to sleep on the ground. Était misérable. Nous devions dormir par terre. And when it rained, we had to uh, sit up. Quand il pleuvait, nous devions there was no nous food for asseoir. us except the red corn. Nous n'avions pas beaucoup à manger, simplement du maïs rouge. And as for the salt, uh, as for the food, as uh, just a uh, watery uh, soup Quant and a little bit of uh, salt. Nous so the nutrient was insufficient bouillie. for everyone, and we were emaciated, and we were about to die. Nous pas assez Thank you, Mr. President. I do not have any further questions for this civil party. And agonisant. Mr. Nuhon, I thank you very much for your time to participate in the Merci. proceedings of this court. Merci venu and déposer. that I may contribute to as the certain in the truth and the justice for the victims and the accused, as you stated this morning. I'm grateful, Mr. President. Pour les victimes et pour les accusés, comme President, vous dit ce thank you. The floor is now given to Nunchia's defense to put Merci. questions la to this civil party. La parole est à présent donnée à la défense de Nunchia qui pourra interroger la partie civile. Sonarun. Maître Sonarun. Good morning, Mr. President, Bonjour, Your Honours, and good Mesdames morning, everyone, juges. and Bonjour, good morning, Mr. Nuhon. Présente. Bonjour, Monsieur Nuhon. My name is Sonarun, Defence Counsel for Nuhon Chia. Je suis l'un des avocats de Nuhon Chia. I only have a few questions for you this morning. When you were a student, what was your level of education? Answer. Quand vous étiez étudiant, jusqu'à quel niveau d'études êtes-vous arrivé Réponse. I graduated from the uh, primary school and then I went to study at a college primaire, in Swahiri. Je suis allé au collège and upon à Swahiri. my completion, then I passed the exam to become a, a worker and employee in the health department. Employé Question. Département de la santé. When did you work for the Ministry Question. of Health? Uh, what year was it? En and what was uh, your title? À travailler pour le ministère title? de la santé et quelles étaient vos fonctions? Answer. Réponse. It was from late 1958. C'était fin 58.
J'y suis resté jusqu'en 1975. J'ai travaillé à différents endroits. dans le service de lutte contre le paludisme. J'ai travaillé dans la province de Kompompom, qui ne faisait pas encore partie de la province. Je suis en train de travailler à Mon la fin Mon district in de ma mission sur province. place. J'ai travaillé dans la province de Kampong-Cham. Ensuite, je suis passé dans un autre for the service, treatment near the Laos celui border. Council interrupt, uh, Mr. De Civil Party, I only wanted your des title soins. while you worked for the Ministry of uh, Health, but you already responded to blessure, that. Allow me to move on to ancienne. my next question. La défense. Vous avez déjà répondu à ma question. Je passe à la suivante. Before the evacuation from Phnom Penh. Avant l'évacuation de Phnom Penh. You replied to the prosecutor that you stayed in the Preas district in the province of Preas Dyke, in the province of Preveng. Is exact. Answer: Yes, it is. Réponse: Oui. Question. Question. Before your evacuation from Phnom Penh on the 17th of April 1979, say the council. Dit l'avocat. And when the Khmer Rouge entered Phnom Penh, what was your observation of the situation? Et quand les Khmer Rouges sont entrés dans Phnom Penh, qu'avez-vous observé? Veuillez répondre de manière brève. Answer. As I stated before this court, the situation was confusing. La confusion régnait. People went everywhere from the north to the south. Les gens marchaient dans tous les sens, du nord au sud. We were not instructed to head to any particular direction by the Khmer Rouge or what we should bring along. Les Khmer Rouges n'ont pas non plus dit ce que nous devions emporter. La confusion régnait. Thank you. Question. Question. When the Khmer Rouge forces entered Phnom Penh, when the Khmer Rouge forces entered Phnom Penh, what uniform did they wear? Uniform. 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 Black uniforms. That is a black uniform with the car tire thongs with AK-47 rifles and a beret. Beret, AK-47, sandals noirs et vêtements noirs. After you arrived in Presda District, Preveng Province, were you evacuated for the second time by the Khmer Rouge? If so, where did you evacuate to? Si oui, vers quelle destination? Answer: No, I was not evacuated elsewhere. I remained in the same cooperative. Je suis resté dans la même coopérative. Question. Question. This morning you stated before this court that uh, in your family vous avez dit you had a daughter, young daughter, vous aviez une who was about nine or ten years old, who died. Can you tell us when she died and quand where? Est -elle morte et à quel endroit? Answer. As I restated, she died in Kompongspu province, but I cannot recall 
when she died Mais as I was only informed by a woman while we had a Buddhist ceremony near the Orusai market. Près du marché au Question. Question. You were separated from your daughter Vous before she died. Vous avez de votre fille avant Is sa mort. Est-ce exact? Answer: Yes, it Réponse. is. C'est exact. Question. So you did not know the Question. reason for her death. Donc vous ne savez pas correct? pourquoi elle est Or morte. Did you know it? Ou bien est-ce que vous saviez pourquoi? Answer. Réponse. I already started this morning. Comme I did not know how she was killed. Je ne sais pas comment I elle a été tuée. J'ai seulement su que toute la famille avait été emmenée pendant la nuit. Je ne sais pas were comment killed. ils ont été tués ni à quel endroit. Question. Can you tell the court Question. again? Pourriez-vous répéter? Based on the information that you learned of the death of your daughter. Vous avez reçu sur la mort de votre fille. From whom did you hear? Qui vous a appris cette nouvelle? And did the person tell you how she died cette or where she died? Or did you ask those questions? Cette personne vous a dit dans circonstances et à quel endroit votre fille était morte? Est-ce que vous avez posé ces questions? Answer. I already Réponse. Uh, stated before this court, I was told Comme je l'ai déjà dit, c'est une femme qui me l'a annoncé. Elle était dans la même coopérative que And mon jeune beau-frère. Cette femme, je l'ai rencontrée à une cérémonie bouddhiste. She said she was from the same Elle a dit qu'elle venait de la même coopérative de la province de Kampongspeu, mais je ne sais pas dans quel district ou commune cette coopérative était. Elle a dit avoir connu bien Pichonkal, mon jeune beau-frère, qui était dans la même coopérative qu'elle. Lui était l'ancien directeur adjoint d'une usine d'engrais. Was my god uh, aunt or my wife who spoke directly with the woman? Ma and I was relayed that information regarding the death of the entire family personne, of my younger brother. Puis j'ai reçu l'information de la mort de toute ma belle famille. Question. Question. You stated that your The entire members of your Vous avez dit que tous les membres de la famille de votre beau-frère you know ont trouvé la mort. Savez-vous pour quelle raison et à quel endroit ces gens ont péri Answer, as I already Réponse, stated, comme je l'ai déjà dit, when my As for the permission to return from his work site to visit the sick daughter, a and the daughter was given the rapid drop pilot, and he said, "With such a rapid drop pilot, how could my daughter be treated ah, and recovered?" And malade, he did not think that it was a serious statement that he made, but it was said by, by the minister. So at night they came to gather everyone from the family and taken kind of away. Remarque and killed. anodine, but mais qui ont été entendus par un soldat. Ensuite, pendant la nuit, tout le monde était emmené, mais je ne sais pas quand ni où. And my daughter also died within, aussi, together with the members of that family. Question. Question. You knew of, or you received information regarding the death of your daughter and the death of the family members of that younger in-law. You only knew about them after 1979, that is after the arrival of the Vietnamese troops. Donc après or was it before? Des Vietnamiens, ou bien était avant? Answer: It was Réponse. after 1979. Thank you, and Mr. President, I have no Merci. further question for you. Plus de questions à poser. And thank you Merci. for your responses to my questions. À mes questions. President, thank you. Le président. Merci. The floor is now given to Kyo Sampan's team. La parole est donnée à la défense de Kyo Sampan. Kung Sampan, thank you, Mr. Maître President. Kung Good morning, Sampan. Merci, Monsieur le Président. 
Bonjour, mesdames, Good morning, les juges. Mr. Nuhun. Bonjour, Monsieur Nuhun. Je m'appelle Kong Sam Hon. Je suis l'un des avocats de Kyo Sam Hon et j'ai quelques questions à vous poser. You stated before this court that you knew Kyo Sam Hon during the 1960s. Vous avez dit avoir connu Kyo Sam Hon dans les années 60. About his reputation at the time. Avoir entendu parler de lui et de sa réputation à l'époque. Voici ma question. What did you know of the role of Kyo Sam Hon during the 1960s? Que savez-vous du rôle de Kyo Sam Hon dans les années 60? Answer. Réponse. First of all. I knew he had a newspaper. Had a newspaper called Observateur, called Observateur, and under the Sangkum Reas Niyom regime, he was a people representative in the National Assembly. He was a deputy in the National Assembly. And uh, at some stage, he became the secretary of the Commerce uh, Ministry. I heard of his reputation by words of mouth that he was a clean person and he was anti-corruption. Appris par le bouche à oreille que c'était quelqu'un de propre qui était opposé à la corruption. And I also heard a rumor, although it's true or not, I only heard of what people said that one day, when he was the secretary of state or the ministry of commerce, the capitalist bought a new, a brand new Mercedes and left it under his house with the car's key. And upon his return from work, he asked whose car it belongs to. Then he said, "The one who bought his house." Il a demandé à qui appartenait cette voiture. Quelqu'un lui a répondu que c'était un cadeau. Mais que son père a demandé à son chauffeur de rendre la voiture. Je ne sais pas si c'est vrai ou non. Thank you. Question. Question. Can you tell us about the works of Kyo Sampan during the 1960s? Pouvez-vous nous parler du travail de Kyo Sampan dans les années 60? That is in his. Capacity as a public servant, and that you just stated as the state secretary of the Ministry of Commerce. What kinds of political issues that he faced at the time? À quelles questions politiques était-il confronté à cette époque? Answer. Réponse. I did not know the details regarding this matter, as I did not follow this matter closely. I only heard what I just told you. I just told you. Je savais uniquement ce que je viens de vous raconter. Question. Question. Did you know that Kyo Sampan remained in Cambodia during the 1960s, throughout the 1960s? Savez-vous si Kyo Sampan est resté au Cambodge pendant Allow toutes les années 60? Allow me to 60? rephrase my question if Je vais you do not understand it. What I want to know is, did Kyo Sampan disappear from the public or from other forums? a disparu de l'espace public meetings during the 1960s and if so when au cours des années 60 si oui à quel moment answer réponse counsel i did not have a sufficient information regarding this matter je n'ai pas assez d'informations là dessus the Newspapers. Ce que je sais, je l'ai appris par les journaux. And I could not recall the exact period of the time. Je ne sais plus très bien à quel moment tout cela s'est passé. Question. Did you know that Kyo Sam Pon disappeared from Cambodia during that period? Saviez-vous que Kyo Sam Pon a disparu du Cambodge au cours de cette période? Answer. Through the information on the newspapers. We learned that Kyo Sam Pon left Phnom Penh for Marquis Forest, and there was nothing else. And that's all.
Question. Question. You refer to Maki Forest. Vous What parlez was du the Maki Forest? C'était quoi le Maki? Answer. It is my understanding. It is the area under the moi, control of the Khmer Rouge. Il s'agissait des zones contrôlées par les Khmer Rouges. Question. Question. Did you know when Kyo Sampan returned? Savez-vous à quel moment Kyo Sampan est réapparu? Answer. I Réponse. did not know it clearly. Non, pas exactement. Because after the country fell, everything was uh, confusing, so I did not know the details of his return. Tout était confus après la chute du régime, donc je n'ai pas de détails quant à son retour. Question. Hello. You gave some examples concerning one rotten apple would rot all the apples in the basket. Can you, uh, can you give us the explanation of this phrase? Are you, whom are you referring to when you refer to the apples in the basket? Uh, Kyo Sampan himself acknowledged Réponse. that he was an intellectual. Kyo Sampan lui-même reconnu qu'il était un intellectuel. And he was regarded as a soft stance person. Et qu'on considérait qu'il n'avait pas une position and ferme. This is just uh, the limit of my understanding, but. There is a Khmer proverb that the one who rot an apple would rot all the apples in the basket. Enfin, que This could mean pourrie, that he was a clean person, a uh, non-corrupt person, and lui how can he de could uh, go and live with the black-hatted uh, groups of the Khmer Rouge? Pu so for that reason, we could infer that he On would be also He would also become a rotten apple. Although even now, Kyo Sampan still claims that he is a clean person, a non-rotten apple. But as I'm saying, he's also part of the rotten apples in the basket. Il fait partie du même panier. Question: Did you know the reason why Kyo Sampan had to force himself to? into the forest and enter the Maki forest. Comme vous le dites. When you asked the question to Kiesempon, Kiesempon said vous posé la question à Kiesempon, it was kind of happened, a kind of incident that he joined the Khmer Rouge so movement. And for you yourself, did you know the reasons uh, via media or press or newspapers or uh, through your friends regarding the disappearance of Kyo Sampan during the 1960s? Ou plutôt, qu'avez-vous su de la disparition de Kyo Sampan dans les années 60, que ce soit par les journaux, par la rumeur de vos amis, etc.? Well, I Réponse. did not know much about that, but I heard uh, from the news uh, that he disappeared mysteriously from Phnom Penh, but I did not know the reason for his disappearance. Thank you, Mr. Nuhon. Mr. President, I have no further questions, and my colleagues have a few more questions to ask. Thank you. Oui, Monsieur le témoin, enfin plutôt la partie civile, pardon. Une question rapide sur ce que vous avez dit à propos d'une information que vous aviez reçue de gens qui connaissaient Kyo Sampan, qui aurait dit, alors je ne sais pas si c'est possible de situer ce moment dans le, dans le temps, mais qui aurait dit que Kyo Sampan va revenir euh, organiser le pays, je ne sais pas exactement, je ne me souviens pas quelle a été votre expression, et après... Euh, le 17 avril, d'une information que vous aviez reçue de personnes disant que Sampan revient. 
you had received si de word of um, this enfant possibly returning. So could you provide us some detail about this and tell us who gave that information to you? At the time, some of my family members who uh, worked uh, in the uh, provincial hall of Prevay, and uh, he were actually uh, got the information uh, about that. Uh, I actually did not uh, understand the situation back then uh, very well, but uh, according to what he said, uh, he asked us uh, to uh, to wait uh, for that situation uh, to happen. And uh, of course, uh, when uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, forced people to leave uh, their homes, they also said uh, that we would leave for a few days, uh, say for three days or so. Uh, that corroborates with what uh, uh, he told me as well. That's why I believe that uh, that could have been true. That's why we uh, were waiting uh, for that situation to happen. So you were waiting for Kyo Sampan's return to uh, come into Phnom Penh? Is that what I should understand? I did not know whether or not uh, Cambodian people in the whole country would uh, wait uh, for the arrival of Mr. Kizumpon, but uh, uh, people around the camps where uh, uh, I actually were uh, in, uh, they uh, were actually waiting for that uh, situation to happen, but I did not know, I did not say for other people across the country. Thank you. De, scène you also au cours described de laquelle, the scene avec vous des médicaments, during which you wanted to take refusé, medicine with you, and uh, that was not voudrais, possible, puisque vous avez that travaillé was refused au ministère to you. De la santé, je sais pas exactement and since you had worked at the Ministry of Health, bureaux, I don't exactly know what, je in what capacity, but votre interprétation I still would like to understand how euh, you D'abord cette interdiction, puis ensuite ce constat de to take la délivrance with you. De, de médicaments euh, then, qui n'en étaient pas, semble-t-il. The administering Donc, euh, of medicine that was not administering, uh, ce, that was not medicine, correct, interpreter. So how did you perceive this uh, situation? Des qui auraient pu être you were forbidden from taking medicine that could have been efficient, and then you were told to give medicine that was not efficient. told to give medicine that was not efficient. At the time, I uh, paid uh, greater attention to my job. À l'époque, je faisais surtout attention à mon travail. Uh, and along the way, um, people were actually trying Et to exchange for medicines because they wanted medicines uh, to, uh, for uh, their uh, sick uh, children. Uh, we could actually hide with us uh, some uh, medicines, but not, not every uh, medical facilities because, uh, for example, Serene and others could not be uh, hidden. Uh, they were confiscated, and they thought uh, that uh, certain modern medicines were considered to be medicine from imperialist countries, so they uh, were subject to confiscation, so they only administered uh, the so-called rapid dunk uh, pill uh, for uh, the uh, uh, sick uh, people and as for the uh, you know, the IV uh, for uh, people. Actually, they did not have any uh, precise medicine uh, when they inject into the patient. Normally, I see this uh, orange color uh, flute uh, in the ce, Miranda ce uh, bottle, and, and they injected uh, to the people. I did not know whether or not they had any particular medical and uh, scientifically si proof uh, the uh, medicine or not, and uh, of course a patient uh, had to risk their life uh, getting injected uh, by this uh, uh, sort of medicine. And for this uh, situation, uh, we were wondering uh, what our country uh, would be uh, ending up uh, in, you know, uh, because uh, we, we uh, were wondering to ourselves as a medical personnel ourselves. Deux questions à la suite de ce so, que vous venez de dire. La première, vous, vous avez dit, je m'intéressais principalement à mon travail. Est-ce que vous pouvez rappeler uh, la nature de votre travail pendant le Kampuchea démocratique of, uh, uh,
After I was released uh, on the 27th of October 1975, following my release uh, from the detention center in uh, uh, Presbyte, and I uh, returned uh, to uh, Prevain province. And my uh, main job was a uh, farmer. I uh, plowed the field and cultivate uh, crops. I worked along with the um, base people okay, ploughing uh, the rice field, uh, transplanting rice, and cultivating rice. And in 1978, they actually mobilized a youth uh, to the mobile group, so they assigned me uh, to carry water to the dining hall. And in that uh, dining hall, actually, uh, there were approximately 500 uh, people uh, who uh, ate uh, over there communally, and I had to carry water um, uh, to the dining hall. Uh, at that time, we had... Uh, at that time, they mobilized uh, people uh, in the mobile uh, unit uh, in order to do different tasks that they were assigned to. So I was all alone carrying water uh, to the dining hall, and, and after uh, carrying water, I had to do the clean-up as well at the dining hall. Thank you. Pour revenir à, aux médicaments, est-ce qu'il est juste de, de résumer medicine? ce que vous avez dit euh, say, en posant que euh, cette décision de choix that, euh, uh, entre les médicaments était une décision idéologique et médicale I am of the view that, well, actually, I, I am not sure whether or not it was an um, ideological um, thing. Uh, at that time, the ONCA, uh, the organization, said we had to be self-reliant. Uh, we must not rely on the imperialist uh, materials. So this was actually the... Um, order the sentiment of the uh, Anka ça, and an as Anka. for uh, the uh, sick uh, people who are being hospitalized, this was not malade. of any help at all uh, to the sick. Et, plutôt, ces médicaments pas du tout les malades. Et enfin, ma dernière question, est-ce que, question now, et vous y répondrez euh, en fonction de ce que vous avez pu euh, constater, Est-ce qu'il vous a été donné de, de voir, de constater que notice, eh bien, les gens qui étaient euh, plus haut dans la hiérarchie euh, de vous euh, avaient les mêmes traitements, recevaient les mêmes traitements que ceux qui étaient euh, à votre entourage Est-ce qu'il y avait une différence Est-ce que c'est cette règle de, de sélection de médicaments impérialistes et puis de médicaments pas Elle s'appliquait à tous Est-ce qu'il vous a été donné de constater des disparités dans l'application de cette règle médicine was administered to these people What I witnessed uh, concerning the administration of uh, medicine, normally we uh, had uh, medicine from France, and those who had access to modern medicine from France, uh, they uh, had to be extra cautious uh, when using or administering this uh, medicine. Uh, in other words, they had uh, to uh, hide it from uh, others, uh, uh, from the Khmer Rouge. And, uh, but as for the uh, traditional medicine uh, made of uh, uh, the herbs and uh, things like that uh, were, uh, the, were quite common uh, for other uh, patients in other places, but as for for uh, modern medicine, it was uh, quite limited uh, to only certain individuals who could manage to hide them uh, from being seen uh, by Anka. Pour ceux qui avaient réussi à les dissimuler et sans que l'Anka s'en rende compte. 
Je vous remercie, monsieur. Thank you. Merci, monsieur. No. The statement of suffering has now come to voilà uh, a conclusion, and uh, you are now excused uh, from the uh, court. And I believe that your uh, testimony uh, and statement will contribute to ascertaining uh, the truth. And I thank you very much for your cooperation, and I wish you all the best of luck. You may now return uh, back home, and court officer is instructed uh, to coordinate with VESU uh, units uh, to arrange uh, the uh, transport uh, of the civil party back uh, home. And the chamber will adjourn for 15 minutes, and we will resume at 11. The court is now adjourned.